Shame she waited. I could tell by looking at him. Did you, you have these CPI and you're going out on your own? Yes. Okay. And then the person that was on the phone with me also, I kind of looked at him and he's sat on medical. He doesn't take any medication. I don't know. Like, I don't know medical wise. Like, what, I know he doesn't take any medications whatsoever. Okay. Um, the only thing, like I said, I don't know if alcohol has to do with it, but we had a bottle of wine. Okay. All right. Here. A bottle of wine. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cracks me up. She just goes over to the faucet. I'm still amazed how she was almost going to storm into her place to get her Dr. Pepper off the counter where her. Just sit down and be quiet, Sarah. Calm yourself down, girl. Yeah, because you're going to get under her feet, right? Mm. You may do so.
the serum. You get enough water? No, you want to stay seated. Don't, I don't want you getting lightheaded. So remember I said the detectives were going to come out and talk to you and go from there. You know what I'm saying? You're here. They're going to ask you a few questions and then go from there, okay? All right. All right, Trevor. My name is Chelsea. My partner's Todd. Um, my understanding you reside here? Okay, is it just you, um, that, okay, um, your former husband, okay, um, but you was like here with George and then your son lives with you or lives, there's 50-50, yeah, okay, um, so from what, um, has told me, um, she explains, um, last night that you guys were drinking a bottle of wine, um, and around midnight, um, you decided, you guys, okay, you guys decided to play hide and seek. Well, we were playing hide and seek, and then, <coughs> was your son home at the time, or, okay, no, fine. My goodness. Okay, um, trying to play, we just did it like that, like, we were putting puzzles together and we were doing artwork. We the puzzles that we finished in there and then the artwork. And then we decided to play hide and seek. Okay. So he decided to get in the suitcase. So I thought it would be funny to, and he was talking about it too, to get the puzzle there. Mm-hmm. I go upstairs and fell oh, asleep. So this morning when I woke up, he got me and I actually got up out of the bed. I thought for sure he was not here on the laptop. It was quiet. And then I came up here and I'm like, where is he? Like, oh. And then I, that's where I found it. Okay. Um, I don't know what happened. Okay. No, I don't know. And then what you weren't sure about if you woke up this morning. They were not there. I mean, I wasn't waiting for this officer to do but I just didn't want to come downstairs. So okay. I played in bed for a little while. And then I eventually came downstairs not intentionally i believe she said mm. worse than on the
They were talking about that too. About the having facial reconstruction from the fight with his brother. times did she say she they laughed about it it was not laughing Like he was very threatening on the stand, did he? Have you called any of them? Um, we talked to his daughter's girlfriend yesterday. Um, she said that he was very threatening and that he was very upset and that he was very upset 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 that he was this is totally. In contradiction sure to the self defense you thing. Okay. When well, he's at school, he's with your husband. I know. Well, your husband's said that your ex husband said he made a reason to be a member of the Oh, okay. Yes, Sarah, it was your day to pick up your child. Subject to recall, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. 
They let one go. Excuse me. Oh boy, look at her. She's got lots to tell him. Look like he shook his head. Hmm. I wonder if he's like, no. I'm surprised she doesn't jump up and run up there with him. But I guess she knows that she has to be in control of herself. That he's, the jury's there. Wonder if she's wishing about now that she should have taken that plea deal. Plea deal. I think though so, that she wants to have as much attention, as many people around her, as long as she possibly can. Because she really can't think beyond herself, my opinion. Love to see what she's writing. Goodness gracious. Okay. Necessarily want to stare at Sarah anymore, but as soon as I try to move it forward, they'll probably they will probably come back. Oh, here they come. Oh, there goes third attorney. Nails look nice too. Did she? Did somebody do so her nails? Put a little polish on them or something? There's just no telling. Members of our jury, it is 321 at this time. We're going to go ahead and take that afternoon regularly scheduled break. Um, I'm going to ask you to come back here in 15 minutes at 337. Similar instructions that I've given you previously, please don't just conduct any independent investigation or research as the person, places, things, or charge involved. And do not have any discussions amongst yourselves or Let's anyone else. See I thank you for your um, service, and we'll see you shortly. Interaction between her and Owens. I'm sitting up, Sarah. He'd love to know what he's telling her. Good about blessing his sneezes. Defense. No, you are. All right, we'll be in a recess till 337. Thank you very much.
right, they're just zipping right along. We are back on the record, case number 2020 CF 2603, State of Florida versus Sarah Boone. Let me get appearances for the state. Dave Kester on behalf of the state. William J for the state. Defense. Jeffrey Zellwitz for the state. Tony Henderson for Sarah Boone. All right. Ms. Boone is still seated at the council's table wearing the same black suit and pink blouse from this morning. Uh, state, anything we need to address before we bring back in our panel? Not from the state. Defense? No, sir. All right. Let's go ahead and stand and we can bring back in our panel. What is she yapping about? She's going to miss all those people around her like that. Do you recognize our jury? Yes. Members of the jury, again, if you could please raise your hands, showing that you complied with the court's instructions during our last break. All right. The record reflects all jurors have raised their hands. State, you may call your next witness. State, you we'll call Deputy John Martinez. State and spell your name for the record for us. Thanks, sir. You may be seated. Thank you. You may inquire, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, tell us, who is it that you work for? Orange County Sheriff's Office. Uh, Deputy Sheriff. How long have you been with the Orange County Sheriff's Office? I'm going on my 16 year. Prior to working for the Orange County Sheriff's Office, uh, do you have any uh, previous law enforcement experience? I do. And where was that? I first started my career with the New York City Police Department. Wow. And how something. long were you with the New York City Police Department? About 10 years. And what was your position with the New York City Police Department? I was a police officer. And uh, at the sheriff's office, um, tell us, uh, what are some of your duties as a deputy sheriff? Uh, respond to calls, service. Uh, my, now, my primary function is the uh, school resource officer. And uh, is continuing training a condition of your employment with the sheriff's office? It is. Tell us, how is it that you became involved in this case? I was uh, dispatched to this location. And what was this location? Uh, it was located at 4748 France Lane, apartment number three. And is that here in uh, Orange County, Florida? It is. And when you uh, responded to that location, uh, who did you first come into contact with? I came in contact with uh, Miss Sarah Boone. Do you see Sarah Boone here in court today? Oh, okay. I do. 
Could you please point to her and identify an article of clothing she's wearing? Uh, the lady sitting in the middle with the black blazer. Your Honor, may the record reflect that the witnesses identified the defendant? The record will still reflect. During the time that you uh, uh, were on the scene, did you have a body-worn camera? I did. And was that body-worn camera activated? It was. Uh, were all your uh, contacts with Ms. Boone uh, recorded on that body-worn camera? It was. Uh, were other deputies also on the scene at that time? Yes. And uh, was Deputy Rodriguez there? She was. So would both of your body-worn cameras uh, both captured some of the, uh, the, the same time frames? Uh, correct, yes. Did you have an occasion to go inside of the apartment? I did. <laughs> and inside of the apartment, mm. what observations did you make? Uh, when I first entered the apartment, I noticed a uh, Hispanic male laying on his back and looks like a small nook dining area. Um, later identified Mr. George Torres. Your Honor, may I approach the witness who has been previously marked for identification as states K and been shown to defense? You may. Sir, I'm showing you who has been marked for identification as states K. Do you recognize that disc? I do. Tell us, what is that disc? It's a copy of my body-worn camera. And does this body-worn camera fairly and accurately depict the... Uh, uh, portion of the events that took place on February 24, 2020. It does. And are those your initials on the disc? Yes, they are. Your Honor, at this time I'd like to move what's previously been marked for identification as States K into evidence. Any objections? No objection. What was pre-marked as States K will be received into evidence without objection as State 7. Your Honor, request permission to publish. You may. Madam Clerk, you dim the lights. I don't know if they ever showed his body cam. I guess we'll find out. I remember um, De Deputy Rodriguez's. I don't remember his. I wonder if he captured something a little different. Uh-oh, I see Sarah moving. She, she's not going to try to attack him. To get, um, look at her peering over there. She's not going to try to get him to get her Dr. Pepper. Oh, my gosh. She is just a piece of work.
Look at that now. I'll get you some, okay? Okay. Look at her. She, she wants to. Say wants to oh my gosh. She didn't give anybody a break. Oh, I do remember this one. She says, run. Really? The truth, Sarah, the truth. She's more worried about his family hurting her than everything that she's done. Yes, 
Talking about the funeral, like uh, I don't think you're good. You were good invited to that, Sarah. Examination. No, sir. Can this witness be released? Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Thank you, sir. You're released, not subject to recall. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> State may call your next witness. State will call Melissa Rothgarden. Can you state and spell your name for the record for us? Uh, Melissa Ruffgarden, M-E-L-I-S-S-A-R-O-U-G-H-G-A-R-D-E-N. Thank you. Counselor, you may inquire. Ma'am, who do you work for? I'm employed with the Orange County Sheriff's Office. So what is your position with the Orange County Sheriff's Office? Currently, I am a forensic biologist with the forensics unit. Prior to this, I was a crime scene investigator for five years. Ooh, interesting. And okay. uh, how long in total have you been with the Orange County Sheriff's Office? About six and a half years. And tell us all the positions you've held during that time. Those two, a crime scene investigator um, and a forensic biologist. Let's turn to your work as a crime scene investigator. Uh, what does a crime scene investigator do? We respond to crime scenes, we photograph and document those crime scenes through photographs, notes, and um, sometimes sketches. We collect evidence, we process the scene, and then we do further processing to that evidence back at our forensics lab. When you say process uh, evidence or process the scene, um, can you tell us what that entails? It, it depends on the scene and the evidence, but it includes the photographs. We also take swabs for potential DNA. We can also do testing for um, possible blood and things like that. We also process for latent fingerprints, among other things. What type of training did you need in order to become a uh, crime scene uh, investigator? Upon being hired with the sheriff's office um, as a CSI, I completed a 16-week training program, um, which includes uh, in-house processing as well as going out to crime scenes with uh, trained crime scene investigators to observe and then assist, 
as well as taking on calls um, with the, uh, crime, the trained crime scene investigator. Approximately how many crime scenes have you processed in the course of your in your course of your time as a CSI? It, it would be hundreds. I don't I don't know the exact amount. Oh wow. Were you working in this capacity as a CSI on February twenty fourth, twenty twenty? Yes, I was. And tell us where did you respond out to on that day? I responded to 4748 France Court, Apartment 3. And is that in Orange County, Florida? Yes, it is. And when you responded to that scene, whom did you make contact with? I made contact with the homicide detective, Chelsea Kepsel. Um, did you receive information uh, from the detective? Yes, that it was a death investigation. Did you walk the scene with the detective? Yes. And tell us, what does it mean to, to walk the scene uh, with the detective in a homicide? We go into the scene and uh, just observe. We don't interact with anything and discuss what we see. When you walked this scene, did you see George Torres? Yes, I did. Where was he located? He was located on the floor in the living room of the apartment. Did you, uh, with the detective, identify potential items of evidence to be collected? Yes. You had mentioned previously about documenting scenes with photographs. Was that done in this case? Yes, it was. recognize the contents of State's M? Yes, I do. Tell us, what is the contents of State's M? They are photographs I took on the crime scene. Do they fairly and accurately represent how that crime scene appeared on February 24, 2020? Yes, they do. 
Mayor, at this time I'd like to move what's previously been marked for identification, the state's end, into evidence. How many photographs are there? Do you have a total? 11. No objection. All right. What was pre-marked as states M will be received into evidence without objection as states 8. This is the front door to the residence. This is also the front door of the residence, just a closer image to the door. Inside the door, uh, to the right, there is the, the kitchen area. Sure, you stage 14. Yes. What is this a photo of? So this is the uh, counter with the sink in the kitchen. And there's also the open area just above where you can see into the living room. inside the kitchen you see in the background that is where um, that first photo of the kitchen was taken so that's the entryway and then this is the hutch and there is a cell phone um, on the hutch in the kitchen. Oh, there's the button. This is the trash can in the kitchen. You can also see the hutch we were just looking at there on the side. Stage 
23. This is the contents of the trash can. You can see two wine bottles on the top of the trash. Did you also find receipts in that trash can as well? Yes. These are those same wine bottles and three uh, Publix receipts that were removed from the trash can. Did you take these items and collect them into evidence in this case? Yes, I did. Just in further into that entryway, um, you can see the living room. Photo 35 from the composite. This is another photo of the living room. You can see the victim located on the floor and a suitcase in the bottom corner of the photograph. Mm. See, a normal person would react and feel emotional. I doubt Sarah is feeling any of that. This is another photograph in the living room. This is that wall we saw in the kitchen there with the opening. Um, you can also see a wooden baseball bat leaning against the wall. Mm. Was that baseball bat collected mm. into evidence in this case? Yes, it was. Ooh. Photo 38. This is, <clears throat> excuse me. This is also a photograph of the living room. Um, just the other other side of the room. was taken in the living room, you can see the stairs leading to the second floor. This is a photograph of the living room just from the other side of the room. You can see the front door in the middle back of the photo. close-up photograph of the suitcase. This is a photograph of one of the uh, zippers on the suitcase. Photograph 51. This is a close-up uh, picture of that same zipper. There is no uh, zipper pull on it. It appeared to be a small wire of some sort, the pink wrapped around the zipper. The 
this is the zipper on the other side of the suitcase. Just for the record, that's uh, photograph 52. States 53 from uh, this compartment. The close-up image of that same zipper. There is also no zipper pull on that one. This is the contents of the suitcase after just lifting the lid. What are the contents? Why can't we see them? Photo 56 from the composite. More of a close-up image of the items. Um, there were miscellaneous papers and paperwork, some clothing items, and... Um, Apparent blood inside the suitcase. Oh, oh. What items, uh, what apparent blood was inside the suitcase? Um, you could, it was observed on the white cap and a necktie, and there was also visible blood just um, on the interior of the suitcase. Photo 57 from the composite. Um, the contents of the suitcase, but you can see the white, cla white cap more clearly and the uh, blood observed on it. Fifty-eight from the composite. You can see the necktie with blood. It, it, it appeared to be silver multicolored. And then there's also a uh, diazepam syringe in the plastic. Uh, casing there, it was prescribed to the victim. Oh, interesting. Photo 61 from the composite. That is the miscellaneous papers and paperwork that was removed from the suitcase. Oh my goodness. Poor George. Photo 62 from the composite. That's the suitcase after all of the items were removed. Photo 64 from the composite. Yes, that is um, what appeared to be some, like, small pieces of paper um, that appeared to be soaked with blood. Mm. Is this inside of the suitcase? Yes. Photo 65 from the composite. That is the baseball bat that was leaning against the wall in the living room. Oh, oh, boy. Photo 68 from the composite. This is back to the stairs to the second floor in the living room. to the stairs to the second floor. And it doesn't look like there would be space for it to... Photo 70 from the composite. We turned down the stairs. Photographing um, more of the staircase. These are the steps leading to the second floor before I proceed up to the second floor. This is 71 for the record. Photo 72 from the composite. <clears throat> the 
the upper portion of the stairs leading to the second floor. How many bedrooms were on the second floor of the unit? There were two bedrooms. Photo 75 from the deposit? This is the hallway. You can see a closet in the hallway and then the door to one of the bedrooms. Did this appear to be a child's room? Yes, it did. Photo 79 from the composite. This is a photograph within the child's bedroom. This is the door leading to the other bedroom upstairs. Did this other bedroom also contain a bathroom? Yes, it did. This is the bed within that bedroom. from the composite? This is the uh, bathroom. In that master bedroom upstairs? Yes. Did you also have an occasion to photograph the defendant? Yes, I did. You see the defendant here in court today? Yes, I do. Could you please point to them and identify our article of clothing they're wearing? She is right there with a black blazer and a pink shirt. Your Honor, may the record reflect that the witnesses identified the defendant? Record will so reflect. Showing you photo 98 from the composite. This is the photograph I took of the defendant. Why is it that you are photographing the defendant at this point? I collected uh, her buckle swabs, which is a DNA standard from the inside of the mouth, and it is part of our procedure to photograph um, that person for identification purposes. Do you also document the rest of her body as well at that time? Yes, I did. This is a photograph of her hands facing upward. Photograph 102. This is her right hand facing upward. hand facing upward. Photograph 104. Both of her hands facing downward, so the tops of her hands. Photograph 
photograph 105. This is her right hand facing downward. Photograph 106. And her left hand facing downward. This would be of her right arm. Photograph 108. Her left arm. Photograph 109. Her right arm with it facing upward. Photograph. Her left arm with her arm facing upward. During the time you were interacting with the defendant, did she ever indicate to you that she had any injuries? No. Mm-hmm. That's how it gets there. that you also collected physical items of evidence from the home as well in this case. Yes, I did. Your Honor, may I approach the witness who has been marked for identification as State C and been shown to defense? You may. Yes, I do. And tell us, what is that package? These are the two wine bottles that were collected from the trash can. Is your name on that package? Yes, my name is on the Orange County Sheriff's Office evidence label that I filled out, and my initials are on the evidence seal from when I sealed the package. And it also has your agency case number and uh, the location information for this case? Yes, that is correct. Ma'am, could you open the contents of State's C and look at it to yourself.
what is the context of state city? These are the two wine bottles that I collected from the trash can. Do the, are these wine bottles in the same or substantially the same condition as they were at the time that you packaged them on February 24, 2020? Yes, the same time I collected them that day. Your Honor, at this time I'd like to move what's previously been marked for identification as State C into evidence. Any objections? No objections. What was pre-marked as State C will be received into evidence as States 9 without objection. And Your Honor, request permission to publish. You may do so. all that, put it back, oh my goodness. why the box is there. How do y'all probably figure Your that out long before me. Dang suitcases in that box. You may. baseball bat I collected from the living room. Does this item have your name on it? Yes, it has my name on the Orange County Sheriff's Office evidence label that I filled out, as well as my initials on the evidence seal. It also has uh, your initials and your agency case number as well. Yes, it does. Ma'am, can you open States B and look at the contents of it uh, to yourself without uh, displaying it to the court? Yes. <clears throat> 